guys, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero, and today in Anime Reaction, watch the eighth episode of Kobayashi san Chi no Made Dragon. If you want to check out our reaction to the eighth episode of Kobayashi san Chi no Made Dragon, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section, because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga, and don't forget to like and share our videos. And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So, um, in the first part, we had a cooking competition between Kobayashi and Toru. And not one Iron Chef or Shukukeki no Soma reference. Right? I think there was plenty of references. It was just subtle. It would have been very subtle. Like, maybe the flying text in the at the very beginning well the fact yeah, that maybe. they the fact that they basically staged it as mm. a shokogeki eh, I, I mean it, very subtle um, three three judges two different kitchens you got a set topic i mean it kind of just looked like a cooking competition show just in general mm. i mean that's the way that they're all basically set up but um but yeah so they were competing because Kana had a field trip coming up and she needed a bento made for it and Kobayashi volunteered and then Toru was like, oh no, I'll take care of this. I'm better at it. The fuck you say? <laughs> Basically. Um, I really liked this section because I felt that Kobayashi's um, I guess cuteness came out for me. That was... Uh, for me, it was kind of adorable. You you don't typically see that side of Kobayashi in this series. I agree. So, uh, I guess Major Gap Moe for me. Major. She is a big-time Gap Moe character. She, she is hands down my favorite character, though. I don't know. And then we'll get to the basic meat of the rest of the episode. Leave. Yeah, so the rest of the episode is basically um, an introduction to Elma. Finally. So, the Le Leviathan. And the funny thing about this is during the competition, I mean, Kobayashi wins, right? Yeah. Because she, she won the salad and she won the desserts. Toru won the meats because hamburger is apparently better than bacon and eggs. Wrong. But you can put uh, the two together. I think... <laughs> It's what kind of I think likes. it's yeah it's it's what kind of likes and it's also showing that I think Gobayashi has some I guess strange taste for bento food bacon and eggs I mean that's not really what you'd expect in a bento at I least guess. I wouldn't I guess I would expect hamburger steaks a lot more than I'd expect a bacon with what looks like fried eggs fried over the top of the strips of bacon I don't know. I would probably eat either one. I would definitely eat either one. I guess. I guess. <laughs> it comes out of the taste. Let's just leave it but at that. But during the competition... Mm -hmm. well, during the competition, uh, Toru decides during the dessert to fly to the other world, the dragon world, and pick up a dessert. Uh, a fruit. The kissing fruit? That's a fruit? Yeah, they, they, she said that that was a fruit. Huh. It's a, I, yeah, it's a fruit that... If you take a bite of it, it comes to life and, well, kisses you. Yeah. But While acting like a wild animal. She left the door open to the other world. Yeah. Literally left it open. And so, Elma, the fourth you know, the water-tailed dragon that we've Leviathan. been looking forward to. For like the past several weeks. Uh, can make her way through the door and immediately, immediately. Uh, rush yeah. Rushes to attack Toru because they are part of different factions. And she is illegally there, apparently. Or yeah. Or something like that. Well, basically dragons aren't supposed to go to the human world because they disrupt the order of the world. Uh, which I can definitely understand, I guess. And um, so Elma is part of the, what was it, the Harmony faction? Whereas Toru is part of the Chaos faction. And uh, yeah, basically it's 
a lawful character against a chaotic character. And apparently there's a third faction called the Watchers. Or uh, the uh, not appearing in this episode faction. Not appearing in this anime faction. Probably. Mm. Most likely. They, they probably wouldn't appear until later in the manga if they do appear. Right. But we follow along Elma and Toru in their amazing banter. And basically, basically the next week's worth of days for Tor- Toru, Elma, and Kobayashi. Yeah, so basically, um, basically Elma wants to finish the, their previous fight. In which Kana says, uh, last time they fought, three islands disappeared. And, um... And uh, it was really funny, because, like, you know, Elma's trying to act all tough or whatever, then her stomach starts growling. Because she hadn't eaten anything in a while. Again, that can't be Yeah, she's really fucking cute. Absolutely. She is my favorite dragon. Uh, and then, uh, and then Toru tricks her by saying, okay, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, finish this. We'll do it in this other dimension that I've prepared. Elma goes in first and Toru closes the portal. As it turns out, she sent her to another country, uh, which is the fields that her and Kana played in. Uh, I think it was in like episode two or three. Yeah, something something like like that. that. And so Elma has to make her way back, and she finally does a couple of days later, and uh, goes to confront her again, and then her stomach growls again, and she collapses on the floor. It's like clockwork. Yeah. And then... uh, They feed her... Cream cream bread? Yeah. Cream rolls or something. Cream rolls? Yeah. I don't know. Looks delicious. It probably is delicious. It probably is. Obviously, she agrees, because... uh, after taking one bite, she's like, yes, I'm full of energy. Now let's fight. I'll uh, give you that entire bag to leave. Okay. See ya. Yep. <laughs> so cute. I know. But so dumb. Yeah. And then in the final, I guess, final part, um, Kobayashi's at work and she notices Elma, um, I guess, showing up for her first day at work. And Elma is working at the place that Kobayashi does. And so Kobayashi confronts her and is like, okay, what's your angle? But Elma's like, oh no, I, I really just got a job because I needed a job. I'm not, you know, I'm not here because you work here or anything. I didn't know. I didn't know that you worked here. Pure fucking coincidence. Yeah. And then we get a, you know, we get a cute scene where Kobayashi ends up having to help Elma learn how to program. Or uh, how to, well, how to even work a computer. And uh, I guess Elma is a pretty fast learner because she picked up for it pretty quick. Yeah, she seems to be uh, getting getting used to it. But all of this comes to a head when Kobayashi goes home and Toru smells Elma on her. Oh boy. And then basically Toru tries too hard. And, out of uh, sheer jealousy. Out of sheer jealousy. She tries too hard. She kind of reverts back to the way that she was in the beginning of the series. And um, then Kobayashi can't like figure out what's up until Elma shows up to give Kobayashi a uh, charm, a protective charm that she made. I guess it's thanks or whatever. And... Um, <laughs> And Toru uh, freaks out and oh, this laser was, beams Elma. This was out probably of the city. this was epic and epically animated too. Oh god, it was hilarious. It, it it I think it's just really funny that it was like Elma Kobayashi Toru and Toru's like that's it, boo. Whoa. Kobayashi barely and, ducks underneath the laser. And poor Alma, just face. Face. Face out the door, off the balcony, out of the fucking city. And left poor in a Alma. playground somewhere. <laughs> poor, poor <laughs> Alma. Oh, man. But, yeah, then uh, Kobayashi and Toru have a uh, little heart-to-heart there. Uh, for me, biggest part of the episode, uh, 
Toma was adorable. Yep. And I thought Kobayashi was rather cute at the beginning of, this, of the episode. A lot of Gatmoe. I'm really, really fighting which one I want. I would, I would, which, which, dragon? Which, which dragon I want to be my favorite because mm. Quetzalcoatl, Toru, and Elma are just fantastic characters, period. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, and then all the little in betweens that we get in this one is showing, um, um, God, what's his name? Shota? Yeah, Shota having weird dreams because he's sleeping and Quetzalcoatl is sleeping in the same bed as him and she keeps crushing him with her boobs. So like we see him imagining that he's uh, laying down in a field and he's being crushed by a giant ball. Like giant inflatable giant, ball. Giant plush ball. Yeah. Giant beach ball. And then he imagines that he's laying in a field and he's being crushed by a bear. Go ball. Go ball. And then, uh, what was it? He imagines that he's, uh, he's hitting a sumo a wrestler. <laughs> but then he wakes up and discovers that that he... sumo wrestler is uh, Quetzalcoatl's, um, yeah, boobs. Oh my! You're so straightforward, master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that was hilarious. But yeah, that's the one. Yeah, uh, that was the episode. Another yeah. fantastic episode. Of- Love it. Yep. Yeah, this series uh, seems to kind of keep its... Um, it follows uh, a formula. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's hilarious, usually in the A part, and then it kind of slows down, maybe toward the end of the A part, or uh, sort of halfway through. It picks up a wee bit again. But uh, yeah, it, it tends to sort of emotionally downshift as the episode goes on. So you get these nice little, you know, adorable heart-to-heart kind of moments here. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. Overall, okay. good. Awesome Great. Formula. It's a good formula, so keep it up. Yep. So let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next time. time. And go ahead and click on my face to go to our most recent Otaku Saga Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the white face to subscribe to Otaku Saga. And if you'd like to help support us, go ahead and check out our Patreon page.